Hello, nature enthusiasts. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of alligators and crocodiles, two incredible apex predators that have roamed our planet since prehistoric times. Look at this alligator. In many ways, they have hardly evolved at all, but they don't need to. They have been an apex predator for millions of years. That was your gator welcome. I'm Amy. Welcome to my channel where I talk about wildlife conservation and organic gardening topics. Please give this video a thumbs up to help me on my YouTube journey. I was such a weird kid. When my family went to Florida, I didn't care about going to Disney. I wanted to go to the Everglades. Alligators and crocodiles are in the same family but are different species. They have a lot of the same characteristics. Both have leathery skin with ridges along their backs. These ridges are called scoots. Both are fabulous swimmers and use their tails to propel themselves through the water. They have webbed feet too. They are reptiles and are ectothermic, meaning they need to bask in the sun to help regulate that body temperature. Their scutes contain blood vessels, which are sending warmed blood throughout the body. This is a crocodile smile, and you can tell because his lower teeth are showing, especially that fourth incisor. Also, the lighter coloration is a clue. The alligator is darker on top with a creamy belly, and typically you just see the top row of teeth or none at all when the mouth is closed. His snout is more rounded or U-shaped. The crocodile has a pointier snout that's a V-shape. They have between 60 and 80 teeth, and when they lose one, they have a replacement. Crocodiles are bad dudes. They have a reputation for having bad tempers, and they are humongous getting up to 20 feet. Alligators are a mere 15. These guys are Cuban crocs, not American, and often hang out on coastal beaches. Saltwater crocodiles have one of the strongest bites of any terrestrial animal at 3,700 PSI. Compare that to a German shepherd dog, which is 250. So here is a fun fact. Alligators and crocodiles have a four-chambered heart, just like mammals and birds. Most reptiles have a three-chambered heart. Millions of years ago, the Chinese alligator and the American alligator parted ways and the American alligator headed for Florida, evolving into two distinct species. The alligator lives in the Gulf Coast states along the coast and in rivers and marshlands. The crocodile only resides in southern Florida in the U.S. That's the blue circle. The croc does live, however, throughout the Caribbean and Latin America. No, that's not a log and you shouldn't bother her nest. Alligators build a nest in early summer to keep their eggs warm. So here's the thing. These prehistoric ladies are actually great mothers and clearly stand out in the reptile world. They build and guard their nests where they lay 36 to 42 eggs. They incubate for a little over two months. Newly hatched young are only about six to eight inches long and very vulnerable. Their mother protects them from predators, which include raccoons, bobcats, birds, and even other alligators. The young alligators stay with their mother for up to two years. After that, they're able to fend for themselves. Notice the stripes? These help keep the young camouflage in the water grasses and reeds. Another fabulous reptile mother is the copperhead snake. You can check out my video on them next, which I'll link in the description. 
Mortality is high for baby crocodiles like this one. American crocodiles have about a 10% survival rate. For alligators, Florida Fish and Wildlife states that out of those 38 eggs, only 24 of them will hatch, and out of that 24, only 10 reach their first year, and five of those 10 will become a subadult at about four feet long. All right, this is just stupid, feeding an alligator marshmallows. But it is a good clip to show how they can come out of the water when hunting prey. Their large eyes sit on the top of the head so they can lie in wait underwater and watch their surroundings at the same time. They have good eyesight, a wide sight range, and excellent peripheral vision. So you may wonder, wonder what good are these giant reptiles and why should I care about them? Alligators are good for the environment. They scavenge and eat carrion. They also eat nutria. Nutria are an invasive species that are up to no good here in North America. They are an aquatic rodent that feeds on native wetland grasses and competes with our native muskrat. By digging in the mud and making nests, alligators are also regulate invading vegetation and create open waterways. Alligators eat a wide range of food, everything from snails and worms as young hatchlings to larger prey the bigger they get. They are opportunistic hunters. Unlike in cartoons, alligators, the real ones, can't walk on their hind legs. While they can rise up and balance, they can walk on two legs. Well, I've said that wrong. While they can rise up and balance, they can't walk on two legs. They do raise their bodies above the ground and are able to move quickly on all fours. People that live in the Southeast may have conflicts with alligators. Alligators under four feet are not considered a threat and should be left alone until they leave the area. Alligators do sometimes come into human areas and even end up in pools. Never feed alligators or attempt to touch them. That just makes the problem worse. If you enjoy fishing, make sure to dispose of fish scraps in proper locking garbage cans at boat ramps and fish camps. Do not throw any remains into the water. Although you are not intentionally feeding alligators, when you do this, it's the same result and trains them that humans are a source of food. Be aware of the possibility of alligators when you are in or near fresh or brackish water. Bites may occur when people do not pay close enough attention to their surroundings. Any bite needs to be treated by a doctor because alligator bites often get infections. If you want to see alligators in the wild, use designated hiking trails or go on a boat ride. So we may be thinking these bad boys can take care of themselves. Well, not always. This is a crocodile farm where they are being raised for skin and meat. There's nothing ethical about having way too many animals shoved into a small space where they can't even behave naturally. Currently, the American alligator is listed as an animal of least concern, meaning good population levels. However, the American crocodile is considered vulnerable. So I'm sending you a big toothy smile because I appreciate your attention. I hope you have learned something new about these very cool animals. Check out my Copperhead video next. Thanks for watching and have a fabulous sunny day. Day.